T-Rexers. I hope you've enjoyed this latest series with Terry and his friends. Summer vacation is almost here, or it's already here for some. Terry and the gang are out of school and enjoying the great weather, but there's just something different that's throwing them off. So let's find out what's going on and see if we can learn from them. School is over and Terry and his friends are enjoying their summer vacation. They usually stay close to home and meet at the local park, but Biff called Terry and asked if he wanted to go to the lake with him and some others. He invited Ozzy and Andy along too since they are Terry's best friends. After a little bit of assurance, the three agreed to go. When they arrived at the lake, there was a bunch of people everywhere. Even though Biff promised everything would be fine, the three weren't so sure. Ozzy kept looking around, obsessed that everyone who was talking amongst themselves was whispering about them. The more he talked about it, the more anxious Terry got, and his tics started acting up. He tried his best to keep them still, but he just couldn't do it all the time. They all walked by a group of people, and one boy did speak up and said something about Terry's goofy dance. Biff looked at Terry and saw the same hurt look as when he was teasing Terry. He knew Terry was embarrassed around people he didn't know, and when they talked like that to him, he even got angry. Biff saw firsthand how angry he could get and felt lucky when the bus driver, Miss Osgood, slammed on the brakes and knocked Terry off balance. He was actually relieved that day that he got kicked off the bus. As Terry's face began turning red, Biff stepped in. Hey, that's my friend. You got something to say or are you going to pipe down? He crushed an apple with his hand as his temper started to build. The other boys saw Biff's strength and quickly began to stammer. Easy, man. I was, I was just funning, he proclaimed as Biff started walking toward him. I didn't mean anything by it. Biff replied, well, just so we're clear, these guys are my friends. They may be a little different, but they're still cool. If you want to make fun of someone, start with the mirror, bud. Despite Biff's help, the three friends still felt uneasy amongst all the people they didn't know. They played in the lake together, but only in their little group. They just felt like everyone was still watching them and talking about them. Ozzy was the worst, and when he would point something out, they all grew more anxious. Biff felt bad for the three friends. What he thought would be a fun day was actually very tense for everyone. He tried his best to get them to join other groups and have some fun, but it was just too difficult for them in unfamiliar surroundings. Finally, Biff realized it was too much for them, and he decided to leave the lake. I know where we'll go, Biff shouted over the car's engine. The three all looked at each other with the same apprehension. As they traveled closer to their own neighborhood park, their anxiety eased. Biff knew where they would be most comfortable and decided it would be better to stay in familiar territory for his younger friends. He could always bring others here and introduce them slowly. That would be much easier. The rest of the summer, everyone spent time getting to know more people. And soon, Terry, Ozzy, and Andy knew everyone who was at the lake that day. Biff offered to take them back one more time before summer ended and the three jumped at the chance. They spent the day playing with everyone just like they did at their own local park. Baby steps helped them all go a long way. As we continue to grow up, our surroundings can change drastically. New and unfamiliar circumstances can be overwhelming to people with neurodevelopmental disorders. That's a big word. <laughs> Progressing and introducing new experiences slowly can help alleviate the overwhelming feelings that often cause a person to withdraw. New surroundings can cause feelings of paranoia, fear, and anxiety, just to name a few. Like the last sentence of this series, baby steps can help a person make great strides in feeling comfortable with foreign situations. Have patience and don't try to do too much at one time. It's better to move forward with little steps than to fall backward in a large, fast tumble and have to rebuild. Thank you for watching this second series of Tourette's Syndrome. We'll be back with some more T-Rextras here and there before starting a third series. Have a great summer, 
and give me a huge fist bump. Bang! This is Megalodon saying thanks for watching and bye for now. Later, tater.